Mal Tillis, the star today on Country Music Time. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Perry. It's it's uh, nice to... But if I can get it out, I'm going to tell you it's good to be here. <laughs> ah, I knew you'd do it. Hey, the the name of your band is the Statesiders, for the benefit of uh, those few people that might not know it. How did the Statesiders get started? Where? Uh, the name of it uh, started on, on Oakland. No. Uh -huh. uh, I, I worked in a club over, over, uh, when I was in the Air Force at, at a club over in uh, Machinado. And it was called the uh, state side of the club. And you uh, usually you uh, name your band after your first hit. And uh, my first hit was named Wine, and and my second one was uh, State Side. Uh -huh. And I couldn't very well name them the the Wine Wine O, so I named them the State Side. <laughs> 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 That's a good story. Where were you when you wrote uh, Detroit City? Were you in the service? Uh, Nashville. You were out of the service then. Right, I was. Uh, Home when I, I was sitting in my uh, den watching my wife sew, and I had the idea, and there were some other people that were in, uh, involved in it. Owen and Bradley uh, actually uh, gave me the idea to uh, write about the uh, 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 migrants that that went up from the south to Detroit to uh -huh. work, and a lot of them up there got up there and they couldn't find jobs and they were homesick so uh uh along with danny deal we sat down and wrote it one day oh and bradley gave you the idea then huh that's right boy that sure has become a standard in the industry i, I guess it'll be around as long as there's country music well i hope so Mel, we were talking earlier about detroit city and i see no reason at all uh not to wrap the show out with it what do you say well you know uh, uh perry if you'll uh do the talking on it well i'll do the singing because we've only got about uh three minutes okay <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do the middle of it yes you got a deal <laughs> all right i want to go home i want to go home Last night I went to sleep in Detroit City And I dreamed about those cotton fields back home I dreamed about my mother, dear old papa, sister and brother And I dreamed about the girls that's been waiting much too long I wanna go home I wanna go home Oh Lord, I wanna go home A lot of the home folks think I'm a big man in Detroit City From the letters that I write they think I'm just fine by day I make the cars, by night I'm making the bars. Lord, if only they could read between the lines. Cause you know, I rode a freight train north to Detroit City. And after all these years, I find I've just been wasting my time. But I'm gonna take my foolish pride And put it on a southbound freight and ride And go back to those home folks That I left so very far behind I wanna go home I wanna go home
Sergeant Perry there. Good job. Hey, I'm mighty pleasure to have done that with you, Mel. I, I really mean that. Hey, you do all right, you know that. You're not bad yourself. You know, I might, <laughs> I might even hire me somebody to uh, go along and do my talking. Well, I, I still Perry. got a little while left in the Air Force. <laughs> Thank you, Perry. It's, it's awfully nice to, to be here for the United States Air Force, which I used to be a member of. I was watching you on a, a morning show here in Nashville yesterday morning, uh, I believe morning with Siegel. And I know you probably told this story a lot of times, right. but I'd like for you to tell it for our audience about the time uh, that you got robbed up here during the convention. Oh, yeah. I, I had been uh, conventioning pretty heavy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, friend of, of mine and myself, and uh, uh, we got tired and we just decided to, to check in. So we checked in the uh, motel and... Uh, uh, Need us to, to say in our tired condition that uh, we forgot to to pull the uh, door tight, and while we was in there sleeping, someone sneaked in and and was uh, uh, going through my breeches, uh -huh. and I woke up and I caught him, and I stuttered uh, a little bit, you know, and I couldn't get it out that that uh we were being robbed so i i sang it out i said hey fluffo get up there's a robber in here stealing our money <laughs> <laughs> and it scared the uh the man off and uh he didn't get anything but that's the way it happened i think that's a classic <laughs> <laughs> that's really something uh, well how about a, another song from you right now i'd be happy to how about uh neon rose 